Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Maddie and today I'm going to show you how to cook buckwheat groats in the Instant Pot. Here's the buckwheat and what it looks like up close. It kind of looks like a triangle, like a pyramid almost. Buckwheat can be cooked in many different ways. I've done it as overnight buckwheat groats. You can cook it on the stove top. But of course, you know, I love my Instant Pot and it just makes things so easy to cook. And I actually haven't done buckwheat in the Instant Pot yet. So I kind of want to do it with you guys today, see how long it actually takes and just to see how it turns out. So with that, let's get started and cook these buckwheat groats. First, of course, you just want to rinse off your buckwheat. Try and rinse it thoroughly until the water looks clear. Since we are cooking one cup of buckwheat today, we are going to use one and three quarters cup of water. And then we just want to put our Instant Pot liner into the pot. Close the lid and we're going to cook it on high pressure for six minutes. And then we'll do a natural release for 10 minutes. While the buckwheat is cooking, I thought it would be a good time to read some buckwheat information to you and learn a little bit more about buckwheat. So even though the name buckwheat has the word wheat in it, buckwheat is not related to wheat and is actually gluten-free. According to Healthline, buckwheat is mainly composed of carbs, but it also has a good amount of fiber and resistant starch, which may improve colon health. It's also full of a lot of really good minerals, such as manganese, copper, magnesium, iron, and phosphorus. Ooh, buckwheat is also rich in various antioxidant plant compounds and more antioxidants than many other cereal grains. It is also said that buckwheat may improve blood sugar control, which is really good for people with type two diabetes, and it may boost heart health by improving blood pressure and your blood lipid profile. The buckwheat has just finished cooking. It has been about 12 minutes since I started it, so it actually came up to pressure pretty quickly, and you can even unplug it right now. We're going to let it do a natural pressure release for 10 minutes, which is where you just leave it alone for 10 minutes. I'm sure you could do a quick release if you're in a hurry, but since I'm not, I just let it come down naturally. Make sure the pin has dropped, and then just open it up. And then I like to take it out of the Instant Pot and just let it cool down outside because I feel it cools off a little bit faster. Ooh, it looks nice. Mmm, mmm. Oh, it's really good. I actually think this is a really good consistency for oatmeal. If you were going to use this as an oatmeal replacement, six minutes in the Instant Pot is pretty much perfect. Buckwheat, like I said, can be used in a lot of different ways. This looks like a really good oatmeal texture, so that's probably what I would use it for. I would replace it for my morning oats, a little cinnamon, a little banana, that would be really good. Or it's also a really good replacement for brown rice. You can use it pretty much in the same way that you would use brown rice for. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed learning how to make buckwheat in the Instant Pot. If you like learning how to make things in the Instant Pot or learning new vegan or whole food plant-based recipes, please feel free to subscribe because I'm making new videos every week. I am bringing all those recipes to you guys so you can make them at home. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye. I just want to be free from the free. Feel love for the first time. I just want to love something about me.